Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to teach you guys how to um, register an HME COM6000 belt pack to an HME ION IQ6100 base station. This is my HME COM6000 belt pack and here's how we need to proceed. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a fully charged battery and insert the fully charged battery to the uh, belt pack uh, by inserting the side with the terminals first and sliding it in and snapping the other end making sure that the latch locks after that make sure you have a good working headset a defective headset will not be um, allowing you to turn on the belt pack and register after that you have to press the B button together with the power but you have to press the B button first keep it pressed don't let go don't and then turn on the power and I have set up a microphone here uh, on the ear set so you can hear what the belt pack says okay so I have this pressed and I'm gonna turn it on belt pack 2 battery full registration so it said belt pack 2 battery full registration that's exactly what it said. So now we want to go to the uh, base station and proceed to the registration. On the base station, what we need to do is press menu, press register, press register headset, Lost and press, reception. and uh, after you press register headset, you press register single. Belt pack two, lane one. Okay, so it's ready now, belt pack 2, lane 1, and it is ready. So now we are going to test it. How uh, you test it first, make sure after the registration is complete that you have a green light here. The green light indicates that you uh, this is synced with that and is registered. Now, if you press one of these buttons, A1 and A2, um, it should actually function. So let's try that. Hello, 1, 2, 3. Hello, 1, 2. Okay, now we're gonna try the other button. Hello one two three. Hello one two. Okay, as uh, uh, we are pressing this, uh, note that that's uh, blinking. Okay, and uh, because this is a single lane a base station, each button corresponds to A1. Like this one corresponds to A1, and even A2. A2 corresponds to A1. However, if this would have been a dual lane base, then each one would have corresponded to its designated lane, and it wouldn't have uh, activated A1. Uh, both of them wouldn't have activated A1. One would have activated A1, the other would have activated A2, which stands for lane 2. Uh, so that's how you register uh, the belt pack. I hope uh, this uh, video was... Uh, 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 educational and you learn something from it, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe.